All right, our next place value system we're going to talk about is the Mayan system of numeration. Now the Mayans system has these digits. So this would be 1 right here. This would be 2. This would be 3. 3 dots. And this would be 4 with 4 dots. It's very similar then to our tally system where we make slashes, right? One, two, three, four, and then for five we would put a slash across. For five, they would just put a bar like this. And then continue on. So six would be a bar with a dot on top. Seven, a bar with two dots. Eight, a bar with three dots. 9, a bar with 4 dots. And then for 10, same as with our tallies, now they would get 2 bars. Okay, and this would continue on. So 11 would be 2 bars, 1 dot. 12 would be 2 bars and 2 dots. 13, 2 bars, 3 dots. 14, 2 bars, 4 dots. And what do you think for 15? You guessed it, 3 bars. And it continues on. Oh my goodness. So we have 3 bars and a dot. For 16. For 17, 3 bars and 2 dots. For 18, 3 bars and 3 dots. For 19, 3 bars and 4 dots. Now when I was a kid uh, in grade school, I read a book and it, it was uh, on the Mayans and they presented this number system to me and they made perfect sense, right? Just like our tally system. very. Uh, simple. Okay, so for every five we put a bar and then for every one above that five we put another dot. And I was very confounded when this was presented to me as the number 20. Okay, so it was this symbol right here with a one on top. And I for the life of me could not figure out why they didn't just keep going with their system. Why isn't 20 five bars? Why is it changed to this symbol with a one on top? Well, if we think about the way we count, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, zero. Okay, and, and so basically the same thing is happening here where we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 1, 0. Okay? Just like we don't have another separate symbol for 10, they didn't have a separate symbol for 20. They went back to a 1 and a 0. So now maybe that gives you some hint to the place values. So first off, it's always going to be the ones place value. And then the very next one, it jumps to 20. Okay, so this was 20 to the zero power, and then 20 to the first power. Now that's as far as I made it as a kid, but if I had kept going, I would have seen that the next place value is worth 360. And so the Mayans break tradition of keeping that same base all the way throughout. Instead, they take this and they stay with 20 to the first, but they multiply by 18 instead of going to 20 squared. Now, why they did that to 360, who knows? Lots of speculation. Maybe 360 days in a year, maybe 360 degrees in a circle. It's not quite known. Now, from there, they continue with the same pattern of raising the power of the base. So it'll be 20 squared times 18, and then 20 cubed 
times 18. And now the pattern continues 20 to the 4th times 18, 20 to the 5th times 18. So it's a very modified base 20 system where it goes 1, 20, 360. This one would give us 7,200, and the next one would be 144,000. Okay, from there, it gets larger than any numbers that we're going to deal with. Okay, so you definitely need to either remember, memorize this 1, 20, 360, 7,200, 144,000, or remember what happens with their bases 20 to the 0, 20 to the 1st, then 20 to the 1st times 18, 20 squared times 18 and so on. Now the rules of the Mayan system, okay, their numbers were actually written vertically and their place values start at 1 on the bottom and then they go up. So you want to multiply by the place value and then add. So here is a vertically written Mayan numeral and we want to translate this into Hindu Arabic. So you can see here, we basically have three groupings or three different numbers. And all of their numerals are going to be represented with these digits right here. So all you have to do is match up this one. Well, that is 5 times 3 plus 3, so that's 18. This one right here is 2. This one right here is 12. Now, starting at the bottom, this is going to be our 1's place value, so times 1. Our next one is going to be our 20's place value, so times 20. And our next one is going to be our 360's place value, so times 360. So you can see here the 120, 360, just the same as here. So we'll have 12 times 360, which is... 4320 and then 2 times 20 which is 40 and then 18 times 1 is 18 and then we want to add all these together so 4320 plus 40 plus 18 and so this number is 40 or 4378 Okay, I want you to try number two on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, come on back when you're done. All right, welcome back. So you should have gotten four times one, 11 times 20, eight times 360, and all of this adds up to be 3,104. Next, we're going to convert our Hindu Arabic numerals back into Mayan. We're going to follow the same guidelines we did for translating Babylonian numerals back. So we want to divide by the largest place value. So we might want to write those out here. So it goes 1, 20, 360, and 7200. Then divide the remainder by the next smaller place value. Repeat till you divide by 1, and then the answer is on top. Okay, so our first one is going to be 1,023. And we want groupings of the largest possible place value. So 7,200 is too big, so we're going to actually divide by 360. Okay, so that is 2, and to find our remainder, we'll do 2 times 360, which is 720. So 1023 minus 720 is 303. Okay, so now we want to divide the remainder by the next smaller place value. So we're going to go 303 divided by 20. Gives us 15. So 15 times 20 
is 300. We have 3 left over. And then we want to divide by our next place value, which is 1. And that's just going to be 3. Now we want to represent this number vertically. So we want to represent a 3, and then a 15, and then a 2. So in mind, 3 is just our three dots. 15 is our three bars. And then 2 is two dots. So this right here is the Mayan numeral for 1,023. And to me, it's just kind of crazy to think that they would see this and they would understand what it meant just the same as when we see 1,023 and understand what that means. Kind of mind-boggling. All right, I want you to try the next one, 2006, on your own. So go ahead and pause the video and come on back when you're finished. All right, welcome back. So you should have first divided by 360, because that's the largest one that goes in. And we got 5 with a remainder of 206. Then we divide 206 by 20, which is 10 with a remainder of 6. Then we divide 6 by 1, which is 6. And so our numeral is going to be 6, 10, 5 vertically here. So here is 6, 10, and 5. And so all in all, this is 2006 in Mayan. So that is how to convert to and from Hindu Arabic numerals and Mayan numerals.